Hey there, and welcome to our guided meditation for April 2021. I want to thank you for being here, for being guided here. I want to thank your guides and guardians um, directly from me to them for bringing you here to this space. So thank you. Thank you. We are going to be getting into our channeled guided meditation and if this is a first meditation with me welcome to your first channeled guided meditation facilitated by me infinity and what i do is tap in with mother gaia the archangels the fae the galactics and um just tap in to receive the messages that we need for any given day and time period today we are working specifically with the energies opening up to the new portal for april 2021 we're um coming into the energies here in a few days for the stargate um and so this meditation is going to be encompassing the whole month of april all the energies of april i hope that you uh Join me on the first part of this for the energy update to get the uh, information that came through before doing this meditation. That's usually the way that it goes. I start tapping in, downloading, and then I'll do some tarot and oracle. <clears throat> More information will come through. And then I will be guided to do uh, a channeled meditation. So none of the meditations that i do i design or am the architect of i simply show up close my eyes tap in and start receiving and so very similar to what you're doing you show up you close your eyes you tap in you start receiving same thing with me i never know what we're gonna do where we're going to go, what's going to be said, um, but they are channeled and we do uh, quantum leap into different dimensions most of the time. Sometimes we just stay put and we just really work with our bodies and connecting with Gaia. I have no idea where we're going to go, but I want you to know that um, all you need to do is just keep your eyes closed if you're not a normal or usual medi somebody that does meditation, that is okay. All you need to do is just stay with me, listen to my voice, follow my guidance, keep your eyes closed. You can move, you can scratch, you can sway, you can change positions. You can, you know, you don't have to stay totally still um, in these meditations. So it is okay to move your body. We do really get energetically um, connected. You'll start, you may even start itching in your back or your hands and your face, the top of your head or around your head. I definitely start to get itchy throughout my body. I'll get warm. I will yawn. I'll, my ears will pop. I'll get ringing. All these different things will happen. And I'll just have to, um, do, I do my best to, I uh, acknowledge these things and but not focus on them not let them take me out of what I'm trying to do because the whole point of my body feeling these things is that I am connecting so with that said just make sure you're in a seated position either in a chair on a couch on your floor um, if you must lay down that is fine just make sure that your body is supported in whatever position that you happen to be sitting or laying in we want to make sure that your hips and your pelvis are nice and straight that your shoulders are down and back away from your ears that you know you have a nice easy feel and and um, expression to your face so an easy smile always helps with the energy there want to make sure that your spine is straight and aligned so again whether you're sitting or laying down just make sure that your spine is nice and straight and that there aren't any pressure points mostly it's just really um very important that your 
physically comfortable getting into meditation, any meditation, so you're not distracted. So it's always a good idea to check in with your body and make sure that that's comfortable for you. Okay, so let's get into it here. Take a nice stabilizing breath in and out of the mouth and then close your mouth. We're going to be breathing with our with our mouth closed. So take a few breaths with your mouth closed, breathing in and out of your nose, nice and easy, not rushed, not forced, not at any specific tempo. Just pay attention to your breath. You wanna take a nice long and deep breaths though. So think about taking breaths in and out of your nose at a count of four and five. So in, one, two, three, four, and five, and then hold, and then out through your nose, easy and slow, one, two, three, four, and five, there you go. I want to take this time again to welcome you and your guides and guardians here to thank you so much for being here. I want to welcome them in. So guides and guardians, angelics, fae, galactics, ancestors, the entire collective of spirit tribe, yours, mine, and ours. I want to welcome everyone in. Gaia specifically, welcoming in Mother Gaia, welcoming in the Archangels, welcoming in all Ascended Masters, all gods, goddesses, and deities, everyone that we are connected to with the light, by the light, and for the light, whether we're incarnate or on the other side, no matter our perspective of where we happen to be at any given moment. Connecting with our guides and our guardians, our angelics. So just take a moment with your eyes closed, regulating your breath, really thinking about your breath, and just think about welcoming in all your guides and guardians like they're coming to a party. You're just opening up the door and letting them come in. And as they do, they're sending their love to you. How much they love you and support you. How proud they are of you. Smiles and hugs and love to you. Beautiful dear soul. And they're saying it really does feel like a party. This is our month, they're saying. Uh, this is a month of guides and guardians, ancestors to really come through and connect, but especially your angelics, as we discussed in the energy update portion. And so they're just very happy that you're here, that you're present, that you know these things, that you're ready to work with them starting here. Whatever day you happen to be doing this meditation, if it's not here on the 1st of April, it could be on the 15th of July and you're doing this meditation, it still is valid and counts. Any and all of the meditations that we facilitate here are timeless, even though they were for uh, for a specific day it doesn't mean that they're not relevant at any other time so please know that but here in the now and present moment on april 1st 2021 when we are gathered here to do this meditation want to happen with the energies here of this first day of this fourth month in the year 2021. We want to anchor in with the awareness that we're here to receive downloads and upgrades, activations down to a cellular level based in our DNA so we can receive release remember and rise and change from the inside out i'm um, on a 
biological level through our DNA to promote it to evolve. As we know, we are changing our very structure from carbon to crystalline. And many of us have been working very intensely with this energy to integrate it into our bodies so we can be at a higher vibration, reflect and refract light. So what we're being guided to do now is to um, envision you in your space sitting there and whatever the structure is, that you're in your home, your office, if you're in a structure, when I think about it, just dissolving away, like water hitting a watercolor painting, and pretty soon it'll wash everything away, all of the details, just see it and envision water coming down and all around you, all of the details of your physical material life, uh, and the structure that you're sitting in and all the details, the furniture, the, the knickknacks, the, um, anything on the walls, the pictures, the photographs, the appliances, the clothes, everything, everything just starts to dissolve and wash away. And it's just you, it's just you and this beautiful energy want to see this energy starting to form after the details wash away and it's just this beautiful rainbow light iridescent opalescent glimmery energy that's all around you as far as you can see if you take your vision up or down to the left to the right it's just all this beautiful light all around you. But what starts to come in and form around the light are these big, um, they're uh, round, some of them are round, some of them are tall and long uh, formations of light coming in all around you. There are um, different colors, different hues, different intensities of light. I want you to see them start coming in around you, coming in through that rainbow light. These would be your guides and your guardians, and you're just able to see them as what they are, pure energy. So however you're seeing this, but they're different, um, different shapes, different colors, different sizes, different um, intensities of light. So this would be your guardian angels and your archangels and your ancestors, your beloved friends and family, not only from this lifetime, but from all of your lifetimes as they start to come in and you can really raise your perspective, really, um, take yourself because this is just all light filled you can raise your perspective up and look out and see all the different divine beings of light all around you angelics will be long and more of it like a um uh <laughs> I have a hard time thinking of the word like a, I want to say obelisk, but that's not it. It's like it's it's uh, it's not round and it's it's not just straight. It's um, it's a rounded type of of energy, but longer. That will be your archangels and angels. And they will be mostly this beautiful golden coppery rainbow light, but then they will cycle through and kind of stay on a certain color a little bit longer and that is their like their main color that um, is represented with them whether that's an angel or an archangel and then we have the other um, the other beings that will present differently they'll be they can be much smaller and rounder um, brighter in light or intensity of color usually angelics and archangels are very very um, subtle in their colors <sighs> And 
and also ascended masters you will see here as well so um, whether that's Jesus or Krishna or Buddha or Muhammad or whomever that you connect to as an ascended master there are many many more well-known many less well-known but there are many ascended masters um, you will see some archangels um, very close to other uh, energies um, almost like like they uh, there's like a reflection almost but they're different so this would represent when an archangel has taken form in a physical body and is either well known or not by the collective as being um, what it would be typically known um, or identified as an ascended master or a saint in the past so you may see that sort of thing. It really just depends on what's coming through for you. But I just want to explain some of this. So just paying attention, looking around, seeing um, who are coming uh, closer to you. But notice the vastness of the, of the divine beings here. And just let them come in and be close and send their love and their energy to you. As you start to tap in with your body, we're going to be really tapping in with our energy. I want you to think about your physical body from your toes, the bottoms of your feet, your knees, your calves, your thighs, your butt, your pelvis, your chest, your shoulders, your arms your hands, your neck, your head, your scalp, your hair, your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your jaw. And take a few deep breaths in and out of the, of the nose. You're thinking about the different places upon your body. And just taking note at how they feel. If you feel any places of dissonance, of um, pain, of tightness, just take your awareness there. Repeat, I release and I receive. And you don't want to ignore it or push it down. You want to open up the body like a flower. Let that energy open up tell the body it's okay to feel what you feel to tap into the energies we don't want to ignore them we don't we don't want to push them away when we acknowledge them they are helpful to feel things that are off in our bodies that are uncomfortable so we can help to massage that energy out and make it comfortable again I want you to tap in with your solar plexus chakra that's directly in the center of your body right at your belly button. I want you to see and feel that and envision that as a big beautiful yellow glow like the sun. This is your center, the center of your own personal solar system. So think of it as your sun and just light that up and get that nice and big. And take a deep breath and really center into that and just see that energy getting brighter and brighter. Nice, fluffy, bright energy just getting bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter. I want you to see it getting going past your thighs and up into your chest and i want you to really think about this energy coming from your solar plexus and really um you can use your hands and your arms for emphasis to really think about taking this energy and pushing it out all around you I want you to think about doing this not just now 
but every day just taking a moment tapping in with your body connecting with your solar plexus energy and envision it getting very very large all around you until it takes up the entire area all around you that you're in this beautiful bubble of your solar plexus chakra and this is your sun you are the sun you are a fractal of all that is so that means you're also a fractal of our beautiful sun the soul the soul of this beautiful quadrant of energy in creation in the universe of the multiverse and that we can tap in with that amazing fire passion energy life force feel it all the way around your body i want you to really see yourself becoming the sun tapping in to see yourself rising rising up into the sky meeting with the sun getting bigger and bigger and bigger brighter and stronger rising up and receiving the energies from our sun and just letting it hit and integrating with those energies that are coming in and again I release and I receive receiving the incoming energies for the timelines the activation codes the downloads activating our Merkabas, our sacred geometry within us our soul song frequency remembering that the month of april is about tapping in with our angelics with our guardian angels with our spirit tribe and that's why they are all here with us sending us love and support and whether we can feel it or know it or distinguish it right now just know that they are filtering through um, knowledge and wisdom and bits of information that we need and we on a subconscious and then conscious level will understand this guidance as we move forward in the minutes days and weeks ahead and the more that you connect every single day begin your day saying hello to your guardian angel when you go to sleep at night say good night to your guardian angel talk about your day with your guardian angel what transpired talk about the day ahead and what you're going to do that day ask your guardian angel to be there with you talk to your guardian angel throughout your day this month is about connecting to you your soul balancing out the divine masculine and the divine feminine energies that are coming through for us to filter in and mother gaia sending her energy up through her beautiful earth through the crystalline grid through the abundance matrix helping us to integrate to let go to unplug to collapse timelines that keep us connected to the material matrix to let go of past programming and thought forms that keep us bound and tied to lower frequencies or timelines that keep us away from ourselves our souls our guides and ultimately our missions here in these lifetimes so we want to very very consciously and intentionally tell our bodies tell our spirit tell the energy on a quantum level within every single one of our cells in our bodies that we're moving into a higher state that we're deciding to connect with our angelic presences around us our guides our guardians that we are a warrior on the ground here to help Gaia here to help humanity here to help the very elements the animals the air that we breathe the water that we drink the earth that we walk upon 
the technology and how we're connecting right here and now that we're here to better all of it to better ourselves to greater connect to tap in with our future and our past selves so our present selves are as in alignment and grounded as we possibly can be, as open as we can be to receiving divine love and guidance. And with that, I want you to tap in and think about your heart chakras at this time. Take a deep breath and tap in and feel into your chest. Feel it opening up. We want to feel it the entire through your back, through your shoulders, down your um, arms to your hands. We want to open up this energy. This is beautiful uh, emerald green energy that is our heart chakra mixed with a bit of pink. And we want to feel into that. And just like our solar plexus um, chakra, just letting it get bigger and bigger. We want to open up the channels of energy for our energetic wings. So that's right at your back from your, your top of your rhomboid or your shoulder blades all the way down. It's about six inches. So if you're unfamiliar with this, just think about your shoulder blades and opening up the inner, the, um, like the, opening up the channels of energy there so your heart chakra energy can move through and out of the top of your back a lot of people have this upper back pain pain in the shoulder blades going up into the neck and this truly is heart chakra energy that just is trapped in the body and making it very uncomfortable so when we open up those channels of energy we're able to release that energy just open it up and tell your body that it's okay to release this energy out of those two channels and allow your um your energy to fully expand your heart chakra energy to fully expand like the third eye the heart chakra is meant to be ever growing ever expanding which means that it's impossible to contain that within our physical vessels, within our physical bodies. We must release that energy out and through the arms, down through the hands. And this is how when we're, when we're healing, we can send out our love through our hands, through our hand chakras. So think about your hand chakras and opening them up. Like you're taking off gloves and once you take off those gloves you can see that energy so envision that energy as you take off those gloves and this beautiful green light love energy can radiate out from your hands same thing with your wings that are coming up and just let them unfold however they may look to you or feel to you and that's that love energy coming out from your heart chakras and being able to expand around you. And it also serves like antenna to pick up information around you as well and to send out healing and love to all. It also allows you to feel and pick up on energies better Feel love all around you to pick up on love energies. So breathe through this. We want to integrate. We want to superimpose this green energy from our heart chakras getting bigger and bigger. So it's with this yellow and this green now together. They're both bigger big and buoyant and all around you and we want to pull in these energies from around us as well that are being sent to us from Gaia she's sending up pulses of energy now through the crystalline grid and this is also helping us to connect with the crystals that are meant to, to be with us. If you don't know, um, crystals are not only uh, set in their frequency to help us regulate our frequencies, but they act like little receivers, little USB cards, little computers that receive energy specific for us individually, no matter where they are. 
we tune in and pick up on those and especially the crystals that we have in our possession that we consider ours of course they are gaia they are of gaia they are gifts and presence of love in different frequencies and forms and they're so beautiful and this is why we're so uh, mesmerized and connected and drawn to crystals because they're literally um, material tangible things we can feel that is pure love in different forms from our mother Gaia and she gives us these gifts to have while we're in these bodies to to partake of their energies to use as receivers to download information to connect with them we may not understand everything that's coming through or why we're so drawn to any specific crystal at any specific time to either acquire them to purchase them or to have them near us to have them on our bodies to really use them to filter our um, energy to help protect us from lower vibrational energies to help clear our energies as we know that they can do but they also act as receivers for us remember mission control and our main mission control um uh, number one would be Gaia. She is our, our mother here and she holds us dearly and she wants nothing more than for our happiness and our success and our comfort and to be as abundant as we can possibly be. So she allows for these beautiful pieces of herself to be brought up and out and into the world for us to connect with. And through that, we can uh, we connect with greater wisdom and know it, knowledge and understanding so have the intention to either um, acquire and start acquiring and tapping into the crystals that are meant for you also for those of you who have crystals who have been collecting them or are connected to them think about your different crystals just take a moment here let the crystals in your immediate world speak to you, show themselves to you, ask your crystals which, which ones need to work with you, integrate with you, see them in your mind's eye and take a note to uh, connect with them later, to hold them, to have them, to move them around, to clear them, to be with them to connect with them however you're guided to to take pictures of them to talk about them to write about them to really connect with all the crystals that are coming to you right now see your crystals as if they're on a conveyor belt and they're just coming straight into you with their energy so this conveyor belt is just um, right in front of you and coming straight to you and see your crystals the different crystals that you have or the crystals that you've seen the crystals that you'd love to have or even if it's just abstract abstract crystals you've never seen before however it's coming through to you to see them on this conveyor belt coming towards you. And as they get closer to you, to see them coming into your energy field, integrating with you in your energy field, and you just letting them come in and melt into your energy field with you, really opening up and accepting them opening up to the crystals that you already know and the ones that you are to know in the future feel yourself becoming more balanced feel yourself feeling uh, clear higher vibration and frequency see yourself being more refractive and reflective see yourself lit up 
see yourself as a crystal because you are a crystal water is a crystal and you're mostly water and you're very blood and flesh and bone are taking on a crystalline quality moving out of the carbon into the crystalline for some of us under light we can see the sparkles of the crystalline in our skin it's very very mesmerizing so just imagine yourself integrating with all of your crystals connecting with them receiving their beautiful information and wisdom and love that um, very special fey work to uh, download into the crystals as directed by the high council for each of us individually like little packets of information and love and energy life force sent to us in very beautiful ways take note of what you see what you feel what you're hearing if you're seeing places where you've seen crystals or rocks whether it's online or stores or just the rocks in your neighborhood the gravel out on your on your street and you're compelled to go to these places to pick one up to hold it just think about this if there's a particular crystal shop that you normally go to and you're seeing it see yourself there or if you don't know of one see yourself finding one or finding one online you don't have to be in person with a crystal to um, have it be the crystal for you so please know you can buy crystals online have others pick them out for you this is also something that i do so if you're guided to have me pick out crystals for you i am happy to do that it's one of the my favorite things to do connecting with gaia to find crystals that are meant for you and it's always perfect so know that there's different ways that you can acquire your crystals and the perfect one that is meant for you will come to you time and time and time again Just take a moment here to just allow the unpacking of this information of the crystals coming through and however you're seeing this. Remember, take note, see yourself there. Take another couple deep breaths, really anchoring in with this and feel the energies just going throughout your whole body. Feel the pulses of light coming up from Gaia. She's saying as these crystals are integrating with you, she's sending out pulses of light. Our sun, our soul is sending pulses of light to us as we're suspended here in this beautiful rainbow light dimension floating here with our solar plexus and our heart chakras holding us up and uh, we're completely surrounded by this energy integrating our wings uh, the channel for our wings open that energy allowed to escape from our backs going through our hands and just really feel this taking over your entire body. We want to feel the undercurrent of energy with your root, with your sacral, with your throat, the third eye and the crown. Of course, all let's bring them all online at once. Just turn them all up and on the root, the sacral, the throat, the third eye, of course, has been engaged. We really want to see all of these energy, the root with red, the sacral with orange again with the solar plexus with yellow the throat with i'm sorry the heart with green that emerald green the throat with sky blue really see and feel these energies in and all around you 
up into the third eye with the uh, indigo color, the beautiful indigo lighting up, getting nice and big. And then the crown chakra with that violet. And I turn this all up and on in the undercurrent, but our big, big um, connections with our own body, with our own energy is through the heart chakra, through the solar plexus chakra right now, really um, being the, the ones at our center, the biggest ones in our body, really what we're feeling here. We want to um, lead and be led by the heart by our in unconditional love and be grounded and centered with our solar plexus and it's really the foundation that's our our um our where our, our authenticity our self the understanding of self lies and we can allow that um, those energies to integrate through the body and up through our love, through our heart chakras and really send out the pulses of energy from our heart chakra throughout the rest of our bodies all the way down, picking up on the energies coming in, up and through Gaia. want you to think about all those beautiful divine beings in your space with you and them really just lighting up even more sending their energies to you and everything around you lighting up becoming that beautiful pillar of light just imagine yourself cocooned in your energy lit up with all this crystal that you've integrated and the light coming from your guides and your guardians like a beautiful light that a crystal is sitting on and just lighting yourself up and letting the light come and shine through you and all around you up and out all around you bright 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 again like a crystal on a beautiful bright light shining out all around you see all the different aspects and and shimmer and light and color Think about how different the different crystals are that you integrated with, whether it's amethyst or labradorite or um, citrine or or pearl or diamond or emerald or um, any any crystal, no matter what it is, just see them, feel them within the body, feel them taking over everything within the body. See and feel that light coming from Gaia, from your guides and guardians that are all around you and from the sun itself coming through, all sending light to and through you to light you up turning on your and really integrating with your Merkaba to so start to see that form, that formation of your soul frequency uh, materializing into sacred geometry within your own body vehicle and then allow for that energy to come out of the body out of the chest and sit right in front of you suspended so you can see it forming remember sound is energy energy is a structure and structures um have um are something that we can look at so you can look at your soul song frequency feel your soul song frequency see your own personal merkaba your own sacred geometry see it lit up suspended before you take a look at it now make it bigger. You can reach out, touch it, feel it, make it bigger, stretch it out in all directions. See how it's lit up. See how sparkly and shiny and alive it is. Feel and hear the frequency, the vibration. Pull it out bigger and bigger and bigger until it's 
all around you and you're standing, sitting, being in your own sacred geometry, surrounded by the light, surrounded by your own life force, surrounded by the frequency of your soul. Everything that is pure and true that is meant to be connected to you, may it connect to you now. And say, I connect with all that is pure and true and light filled for my soul, my soul evolution, for my healing, for me as an incarnate in a body. I tap in with Mother Gaia and the Abundance Matrix. I tap into and receive the energy from our beautiful sun, the soul of our solar system, of this family, as Mother Gaia holds us, our beautiful father, the soul. If you will, he sends his light and shines it upon us. They work with perfect balance and harmony. She is the womb and he is the light that shines upon it. Allowing it to feel and be energetic, to grow, to be something of creation. And that is what we are in and within her within the universe, within our own souls, and incarnate here in a body, a fractal of all that is creational beings meant to create. So integrate the energies that will uh, light your fire, <coughs> that will spark your creativity, Spark the energy for you to create in this world, to receive divine guidance from all who are around you, to receive the uh, downloads and the light codes and the activations to spark our awareness, to connect us with our souls so we can download the information and know how and what to create. This is what we're meant to do, however we're meant to do it. So just open up to all of that information coming to and through you and just see it pouring down in and around you. Pulses of light coming in from all directions, integrating on a molecular quantum level packets of information that you on a conscious level at a later time will understand and will act through in the highest vibrational pos uh, way possible. And just breathe that knowing in and repeat after me. I am love. Love I am. I am a child of Gaia and this beautiful multiverse. I come from a perfect balance of divine masculine and feminine and I integrate with that knowing deep within my body, my energy, my soul. I bring that knowing knowledge into my awareness so I may integrate deeper stronger and more in balance with the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So I may create from this point of view of balance, of unity, of harmony, of love. I reach out and extend myself to my guides and my guardians so I may receive always and forever 
This is my promise to myself that I am open, loving, willing, giving, peaceful, and harmonious. It is my intention to unify with all that is, with Mother Gaia, with my guides and guardians, so I may be of service in the best ways possible. I go in to the future happy, excited, open, and faithful, trusting, and I release the need to control. I let go of fears of the unknown, and I know I am protected, guided, guarded, taken care of always. So be it, and so it is. And please know your guides and guardians are all sending so much love to you now. In all directions, through the matrix and the web of life. And I want you to just integrate with these energies that are coming to you. Be here in this space. Feel the love all around you. Be open to walking into the future. Connected, open, and peaceful. And again, with a promise to yourself to maintain your energy as best as you can because you are open to receiving guidance always. So please stay here in this space as long as you're guided to integrate with these energies and these pulses of light Feel your guides and guardians. Take note of whatever may come to you. Move slowly. Drink lots of water. Promise yourself that you'll rest when you're being told to, that you'll eat what your body craves, that you won't move through this time, this April of 2021 out of habit, but instead through guidance. And with that, I want to thank all of you for being here on both sides of the veil. It is always my deep pleasure, blessing, and honor to be here to facilitate these connections. I want to say thank you to Gaia, to all of the angelics, all the guardian angels who brought um, those that you are uh that you're in charge of with you those of you incarnate i want to thank you all of the archangels the fae the galactics every single beautiful divine being everyone's ancestors and family for being here i feel you all i love you all i am always so I'm grateful to be connected to each and every one of you. And uh, it was an honor again today to be here with you. And thank you so much again. And so, so for you, I want to say, uh, please go slow. Please take it easy as you move through the future. And sending my love and blessings to you.
And as you come out of this meditation, whenever you are guided to, just come back into it nice and slow. Just let the densities of your surroundings come back into existence in your world. Move slowly through, back into body when you're ready. And with that, I'm going to bid you adieu. Thank you so much for being here. With love always, this is infinity. Until next time, infinite love and blessings.